<sighs> so, She-Hulk stars Tatiana Maslany as Jennifer Walters, an attorney and also the cousin of Bruce Banner, or the Hulk, played by Mark Ruffalo. After Jennifer and Bruce get into a car crash, Jennifer accidentally gets some of Bruce's radioactive blood in her open wound, and she transforms into She-Hulk. In the first episode of this Disney Plus series, Bruce is trying to teach Jennifer how to control her anger and accept her destiny to become a superhero. As you probably guessed, she already has everything under control and she just makes fun of Bruce's lessons the whole time and doesn't need them. I wasn't going to watch this show because I didn't want to give money to Disney Plus and the trailers looked weak to me. However, there was a clip going around online today that kind of infuriated me and so I decided to watch the whole episode for greater context. Now let me describe the clip for you. Hulk is helping Jennifer meditate and telling her that she needs to learn to control her anger. She then says, and I'm paraphrasing, I'm great at controlling my anger. I do it all the time. When I'm catcalled in the street, when an incompetent man tells me how to do my job, and if I don't do it every day, I'll be called emotional or difficult, or I might just literally get murdered. So I'm an expert at controlling my anger because I do it infinitely more than you. I'm going to keep it PG. I'm going to channel my inner Whoopi Goldberg from The View and just say, how dare you? Yes, men, you should never catcall a woman. Don't do it. It's creepy and you look like a psychopath. However, Bruce Banner's life, ever since his lab accident, has been a swirling torrent of death, blood, and destruction that you couldn't even imagine. He was forsaken by all his loved ones and cast out of society because they deemed him a monster. He was hunted by the full force of the United States military, which sought to abduct him, hold him in a cage without due process, experiment on him, torture him, and ultimately attempt to exterminate him for the greater good. He has stood alone against thousands of snarling demonic predators that would tear the flesh off your little bones. He could have walked away and let all those people who hate him and vilify him get what they deserve. He sacrificed his body and his sanity to unleash his inner beast and slaughter every wicked creature that seeks to enslave you just because he's a good human being. He's had to watch helplessly as innocent men, women, and children get killed as collateral damage because he doesn't have the strength to save them all. And he has to wake up every day thinking, if only I pushed just a little harder, if only I ran a little faster, maybe I could have saved them. I'm not saying that women's issues like catcalling and being afraid of men aren't legitimate and can't be discussed in a Marvel show, but don't do it at the expense of the suffering of men like Bruce Banner. You have the gall to say you could literally get murdered? Lady, thousands of soldiers, superhumans, and alien devils have expended millions of tons of lead, steel, dynamite, and have unleashed the very power of the atom itself to literally try and murder him. Don't you dare minimize this man's decades of suffering the most brutal violence and psychosis-inducing isolation. I despise this show for this one scene alone. Unfortunately, the rest isn't very good either. As you can tell from the trailers, the special effects are pretty poor, except for Professor Hulk, who actually looks pretty good. Some of his mouth animation is a little bit off, but I don't know, can't they just use like the virtual model from Endgame and put it in there to reduce the cost? I saw that Pixar did that with the toy clip cleaner in Toy Story 2, so yeah, I think that's probably what they did, but it, yeah, it's clearly obvious that Professor Hulk's special effects are on a whole nother level than She-Hulk's special effects. I didn't find it funny at all. It's not humor that appeals to me. I'm starting to get sick of the jokey, silly Marvel. That's not unique to She-Hulk. It started with Thor Ragnarok, which I actually liked, but it went downhill fast from there. Also, what the heck is up with the finale scene? Jamila Jamil breaks, I guess she plays a villain or something. She breaks through a courtroom wall, doesn't say a word. Then we cut to Jennifer White talking to her friend, and her friend is telling her to turn into the She-Hulk. And so she does, and then... Jamila, who's been silent the whole time, says to her, Who are you? And Jennifer says, I'm Jennifer Walters, attorney at law. Then a desk magically appears in Jamila's hands and she tosses it at She-Hulk. Then She-Hulk kicks her and she ends up against the wall using one of those fake camera swipes. I have no idea what that was all about. 
This was clearly a much longer fight scene with dialogue and security officers getting thrown around, but someone in the editing room really screwed something up big time. <laughs> If you look closely while Jennifer Walters is talking to her friend, you can see Jamila fighting security guards in the background, and the guys are just kind of like shuffling around in slow motion and occasionally falling over and tripping while Jamila is attempting to do her fight choreography that she probably just learned 15 minutes beforehand. All I can say is that this is not a good start. Maybe it can improve in future episodes. Fingers crossed, I guess. 